Husha, Hosea 7. When I would have healed Yashadael, then the iniquity of Ephraim was discovered, and the wickedness of Shomoron, for they commit falsehood, and the thief comes in, and the troop of robbers spoils without, and they consider not in their hearts that I remember all their wickedness. Now their own doings have beset them about. They are before my face. They make the king glad with their wickedness, and the princes with their lies. They are all breakers of wedlock, as an oven heated by the baker, who ceases from raising after he has kneaded the dough until it be leavened. In the day of our king, the princes have made him sick and furious with wine. He stretched out his hand eth with scorners. For they have made ready their heart like an oven, while they lie in wait. Their baker sleeps all the night. In the morning it burns as a flaming fire. They are all hot as an oven, and have devoured at their judges. All their kings are fallen. There is none among them that calls unto me. Ephraim, he has mixed himself among the people. Ephraim is a cake not turned. Strangers have devoured his strength, and he knows it not. Yea, gray hairs are here and there upon him, yet he knows not. And the pride of Yashadael testifies to his face, and they do not return to El Yahua, Elohehem, nor seek him for all this. Ephraim also is like a silly dove without heart. They call to Mitzrayim, they go to Ashur. When they shall go, I will spread my net upon them. I will bring them down as the fowls of the heaven. I will chastise them as their assembly has heard. Woe unto them, for they have fled from me. Destruction unto them, because they have transgressed against me. Though I have redeemed them, yet they have spoken lies against me, and they have not cried unto me with their heart. When they howled upon their beds, they assemble themselves for grain and wine, and they rebel against me. Though I have bound and strengthened their arms, yet do they imagine mischief against me. They return but not to El Elyan. They are like a deceitful bow. Their princes shall fall by the sword for the rage of their tongue. This shall be their derision in the land of Mitzrayim.